Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something just a little bit different. Um, I'm going to be day trading some futures this morning. And um, hopefully we get some some winners. And uh, you guys can kind of see a little bit how I do things now. Um, it's about 5-10 minutes until the market open. I typically trade the NASDAQ 100 E-mini futures, also known as the NQ ticker symbol. Um, and so we're just kind of starting out doing a little bit of technical analysis, starting out in the weekly time frame. Um, we are very, very close to my zone of interest right here. So it is going to be interesting to see how this plays out during market open. Um, are we going to be able to push through this, potentially break above our, our 50 moving average and keep going back up towards our all-time highs um, back over here in November of last year? Or are we going to reject off of it and just kind of bleed red all morning? We shall see, but it's kind of nice to know what you're getting into before market opens. So one thing to note, um, and I do kind of like this pattern, this purple line right here, this is the 20 moving average. You'll see it comes down. Um, we have our, our 20 through our 50 death cross right here. Um, but it actually supported this week almost perfectly our wick came down the low was 12814 and the 20 moving average is currently 12797 so very 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 close i do like that that is slightly bullish to me um let's go to daily time frame nothing particularly interesting jumps out at me um, just kind of the same thing, the zone of support up here, and then we have the 200 moving average up above that. Um, zoom into the one hour. Now, this slightly interesting to me. So um, you can see that we have this huge, huge move up here, August 3rd, and then it's just been trading sideways since then. Um, okay, so I, I think there's either a break or we'll see a move somewhere about one of you there. What the heck? That is not. that and okay or we'll see a move through to somewhere around that 13 620 number so um let's go over to the actual i'm using trade station i'm not a huge fan of trade station that's just what i'm using right now um, this is also a simulated account, so that's why there's, you know, $2 million in here. Don't bother trying to steal anything because it's not real money. So, okay. And now we wait. Just a really quick note. It looks like we're putting in a double bottom right here. So depending on how this candle turns out, um, this might be a very bullish play.
so the double bottom idea has been invalidated um, typically with a, a, a double bottom or a W pattern. You want to see the second bottom slightly higher than the first, not slightly lower. So um, if this is our low over here, that's number one. Number two over here is lower than our previous one. If we had left it up here, something like this one, um, I would have considered that intact. But since we didn't, uh, no trade opportunities there. Market opens in just about a minute here. And there we go, market open. And we'll just let this kind of play out for a little bit. I don't typically trade during the first 10 minutes from market open. Um, it's just really choppy. I find it's very difficult to get trades to go my way. There's just so much built up sentiment. Um, I prefer to just wait a couple minutes um, until we get some established trends and then go from there. So we'll just, you know, see what, what sets up here.
So I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but this is our market open candle right here. Um, you can see we opened at 13,247. We came all the way down to 13,273, which is almost, you know, that's about 100 points in there. Um, all the way down here and then ended up closing green again. Um, this is why I don't really trade market open because you get stupid, ugly candles like this. And I, I would have no idea what to do with this. Do you trade it to the long side? Do you trade it to the short side? Do you trade it to both? Um, I just have really bad experiences trying to trade the, those, those market open candles. So I just leave it alone. <laughs>
Okay, so I might be getting ready for a breakout here. I'm just going to go ahead and set my order. Um, I'm setting it at 13,325. Um, that's just above this previous high over here, which is um, 13,323. So I'm giving myself a two point buffer there. Um, but should it break out above, I expect price action to continue at least up until that uh, 13,336 possibly even ball the, all the way back up to 13357. So we'll just kind of see what happens here. Um, it, it might get filled, it might not. So I really like this basing pattern right here off the 20 moving average though. <clears throat> you can see we, we broke it. Um, came all the way back down on this big ugly break handle, broke it again, retested, held it, and it looks like we're about to get filled here. Uh, I am using a five point stop. So as soon as I get filled, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put in my stop at 13,320. A lot of selling action right over here. Um, that's why I put it just slightly above so that I don't get stuck in all of this back and forth. It looks like we want to break through. There's just a lot of uh, selling pressure right around that 13,320 number. So there we go. We got filled. Um, go ahead and put in my stop here. And we'll just see how this goes. Uh, okay, we got uh, stopped out there. Rather unfortunate, I thought we were taking off for a second. We went all the way up as high as uh, 13,333. So I was eight points, you know, clear in profit. Um, and then it just turned around and came straight back down. So it happens. We'll just we'll just wait around for the next one. And, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> you know, and of course, uh, it wants to immediately turn around and, and go back, you know, in the direction I thought it was going to go after I got stopped out. But there's no way I would have put a stop in place here that would have been large enough. I mean, the law on this candle is 13309. That's what is that? 16 points. Um, I would never use a 16 point stop. So um, unfortunately, this this trade was just too volatile and I got shaken out. So. Um, <clears throat> it is what it is.
I'm just adding that to my trading log, which if you guys are traders and you don't keep a trading log, I highly recommend it just so you can go back and review why you took the trades, your emotional state during the trades, you know, you can actually keep track of your winning percentage. Um, like for me, I know my, my winning percentage fluctuates between typically 70 and 80%. Um, but there was also, there was probably like a six month period where <laughs> my winning percent was probably like 10%. Um, and then I kind of got over that and bounced back, but there was a while there where I could not get any trades to work out in my favor. Um, and I wasn't necessarily doing anything wrong, but the longer that goes on, the more emotional you become and the more emotional you become, the worse of a trader you become. So um, I'm really not sure what's happening with price action here. I almost want to go long again, but we've got this doji candle right here turning back into a red candle. I already got shaken out of one trade. Um, I was expecting a breakout continuation because like I previously mentioned, there was a lot of selling pressure in this area. Um, I thought once we got through it, we're just going to keep going back up. And that is not what happened. So um, I'm not really sure what to do with this.
what happened to my truck? What did happen to my truck? I don't know what's going on with trading views, so.
Okay, so I'm setting up another cell order here. Um, <clears throat> mostly because there's a lot of selling pressure and this is going to be a very, very fast trade if it gets filled. Um, this is entirely a scalp. I'm going to be in this trade for like 10 seconds max. Um, but we are holding our moving averages very well. No, I changed my mind. This is an emotional trade because I'm mad that I lost the first one. It's not a good setup. So you shouldn't do that. Don't, don't force trades just because you're trying to get back to break even. That's a fantastic way to continue to lose money. Um, you know, and just be aware of that sometimes because like that, I mean, you can convince yourself that anything looks like a good setup, but then you just have to ask yourself, is this actually a good setup or am I just trying to force a trade because I want to trade? Um, Jesse Livermore, who's one of the greatest traders of all time, is known for saying, you know, it's not my trading that made me a fortune, it's my sitting. So um, sometimes I have quite literally <laughs> sat on my hands before to stop myself from doing anything. If you need to do that, by all means do that, because you should be waiting for A-plus setups every single time. Um, if it's not an A plus setup, if you're not, you know, very certain that this is going to work out well, I mean, even if we come back to this trade right here, I was right. I just got stopped out too early, which happens. The market will shake you out sometimes. So you can't be super mad about that. Um, it was a good setup. I took it at the right time. I just didn't put in a 16 point stop because I would never do that. Uh, I'm trading much smaller amounts. Um, typically, I'll use a five-point stop and then a 10-point take profit, so my risk for reward is two to one. I am thinking of increasing that to a 10-point stop and a 20-point take profit. Um, there's a lot of movement. You can see, um, I feel like almost every candle covers close to 20 points. This is probably one of the smaller ones. Let's see. Uh, high is 13.329, low is 13.302. So yeah, that's almost 30 points on one of the smaller candles. Let's check this one. Uh, high is 3.39, low is 3.09, so 30 points, yes. Yeah. So um, I'm thinking of just doubling my, uh, my stop and my take profit. So my risk reward stays the same, but I won't get shaken out as easily. But um anyway don't over trade so 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 many people over trade i have that problem myself um it's really just self-awareness you know don't force trades i mean realistically i only trade for maybe uh half hour hour tops typically during that time i'll take one to two trades on a Absolutely phenomenal day where there's just setups left and right, maybe three. Um, but I don't know, even if I go back and look through my trading log, that I've ever taken more than three trades in a morning. So that's today's lesson. I know I only got one trade, and I'm sorry about that, but I'm probably going to end it right about here because I have some other stuff to get to today. Um, but I'll try to do this again, and hopefully we'll get a, a winner and and you know, at least some more trades in there. So um, thank you guys for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe, and have a blessed day.